hello students i hope you all are very good and uh, studying as well today in the class 12 business studies we will be discussing about the chapter 12 consumer protection act and our topic for today will be uh, the redressal system and the responsibilities of the consumers so <coughs> without wasting time we'll be well so consumer protection act was implemented in the year 1986 to protect the consumer from the exploitation that were done by the businessman to practice more profit okay and sometime to earn this profit they also used to harm the consumers through very dangerous or toxic product okay the consumer protection act 1986 has specified various consumer rights and responsibilities that you may have gone through it provide us for the setting up of a three tier quasi judicial system and that is what we are do going to discuss today the redressal machinery or redressal agencies okay so as you can see there are three types district forum state commission and national commission okay uh, as you know the judicial system in our country there is a district level court then a high court and then the supreme court in the same way we have district forum state commission and national commission so first of all let's uh, discuss about the district forum each district forum shall consist of a person who is or has been qualified as a district judge as the president and other two members one of whom should be a woman duly appointed by the state government okay it can receive consumer complaints of not more than 20 lakhs value yes the price of the product for which the case has been done should be maximum 20 lakh maximum then 20 lakh then it cannot be claimed in the district forum okay on receiving the complaint the district forum shall refer the complaint to the opposite party means the businessman the seller okay or the one who has sold the party uh, sold the product okay concerned and send the sample of goods for testing in the laboratory okay if it is mainly in the technical basis so after it is done the district forum after satisfying that goods are defective or there is some unfair trade practice they can issue an order to the opposite party by directing him either to replace or return the price or pay compensation in case the aggrieved party is not satisfied aggrieved party means the party the customer okay then with the order of district forum he can forum he can appeal before the state forum within 30 days of passing an order state forum means the state commission okay so let's discuss about the state commission it is a set up in each state by the government concerned that is by the state government and we'll be discussing the features about the state commission okay each commission consists of a president and at least two members appointed by the state government okay and the president shall be a judge of a high court the commission also consists of not less than two members okay and about 35 years of age and they should have a particular degree from a recognized university okay well so the second is complaint of at least rupees 20 lakh to 1 crore can be filed with state commission as in the district level we have discussed that the price of the product for which the case has been un- done it should not be more than 20 lakh but if the price of the product is 20 lakh to 1 crore then directly the consumer may apply for the state commission okay on receiving the complaint complaint the uh, same process take place the state commission can also refer the complaint to opposite party and send the goods for testing in the laboratory and once they are satisfied they can order to opposite party to either replace or repay or pay the compensation okay in case the aggrieved party i mean the customer is not satisfied they can appeal before national commission within 30 days of passing an order okay so it continues to the national commission the national commission is again uh, set up by the central government okay the provision of this act are it consists of a president and at least four members appointed by the central government okay and the president who is or has been a judge of the supreme court can be appointed okay and only by the central government okay and they are 
done under the Chief Justice of India. The commission shall consist of not less than four members of its executive committee. The jurisdiction of the commission shall extend to any case where the compensation amount exceeds rupees one crore. It means that if the price of the product, okay, is more than rupees one crore, then the consumer they have to directly file the complaint to the national commission, okay. The national commission has the power to issue orders for replacement or removal and to pay the compensation for the loss okay this is the senior most commission in the consumer act if anything does not get solved here also then lastly the case is taken to the supreme court which is a very rare matter okay and it should be done within a 30 days time so these were the three commission the first was district forum the state commission and national commission this is the different three tier level of the redressal machinery of the consumer protection act now the next topic here we will discussing about the consumer responsibilities the duties of a consumer okay let's go point by point the very first is be aware about various goods and services available in the market Yes, okay, we all are surrounded by knowledge center, Google and other sources. So before buying any product, we shall totally go through it that what are the requirements or what shall be the quality or what shall be the approximate price of that product. Okay, when we are gaining knowledge of the particular goods or service we want to buy, then no one can, no seller can cheat us. Next is buy only standardized goods and check for the standardization mark. Yes. Okay. For example, when we are buying any electrical appliances, switchboard, switches or pressure cooker or oven, then we shall go for the ISI mark. Okay. That it is standardized. Okay. Be aware about the risk associated with the product and service and use them carefully. Yes. Nowadays, every company provide how to use and what can be the situation if it is not used in a wrong way mainly the products which are uh, electrical goods or which may have other kind of risk of injury or life threatening uh, things so we should read all the risk that are associated with the product and we shall also see that we use the product as it is said so that it remains safe okay read the labels carefully we shall always read the labels carefully affirm yourself to ensure that you get a fair deal yes when you are going to see the product or when you are either buying online you should first of all make it confident to yourself that the product you are buying at the particular price is a very good deal if there is anything in your mind that does not suit you to buy you can make the product uh, you can uh, take the product not to buy it from that place from other place you can get it be honest in your dealings okay whatever dealings you are doing you should be honest okay even as a consumer you should know your moral values ask for a cash memo on purchase of goods or service yes mainly you should always go for the cash memo we call it cash memo cash receipt or the bill and it is like a proof of the agreement that yes you have bought the product from that particular store or showroom or shop and it can be useful if anything goes wrong with the product file a complaint in an appropriate consumer forum in a case of shortcoming in the quality of goods purchased or service availed okay as we have gone through the different three tier level there you can see form consumer societies which would play an active part in educating consumer and safeguarding their interest yes students that is one of the reason even if you are studying right now you will be getting these all knowledge very early you can promote these consumer rights responsibilities and the system of this act to your nearby by forming a group or forming a association okay and lastly show concern for the environment yes it is very very important for today's and the coming generation so these are the various responsibilities of a consumer okay we will be back soon with a very new topic again thank you